Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel, episode 24 of my FIFA 21 Brentford Career Mode series. We're wasting no time, transfer deadline day is here. Let's see if we can manage to bring in a signing or two. We'll see. Probably nobody know me because I'm useless to scouting players. So there's one man I'm looking to bring in guys. And for some reason his valuation is super low. 7 million to 11.5 is what I should be paying for this man. 73 overall, 19 years of age. It is Fabio Silva from Wolves. Let's see if we can just make a dead on 10. A nice even number. What are you saying, Wolves? There we go, 10 million for Fabio Silva. Are we gonna make a massive deadline day sign? And let's see if we can sweet talk him a little bit, get the contract sorted, and then welcome the lad. Oh, at the end of the day, 20,000 signing bonus of goals. I'm fine with that. The man has joined. Welcome Fabio Silva to the mighty Brentford. Deadline day signing. Happy days, boys. I'm hyped for it. Excited to give him a go. Let's see what he can do for us. So we've actually got a transfer for Seiku Mara. Obviously, we've just bought Fabio Silva. And this is a man I was looking to loan out. And Atalanta want 2.95 for him. So I'm going to negotiate. If I can sell him for about 3.5 million, I think it's something I'm going to do. There we go. So Mara has been sold. We only bought him in the summer. Seiku Mara for 3.1 we sell him on for. I'm fine with doing that. I feel like because we... Wow. So Real Madrid are after Josh De Silva, 37.9 million, that's a lot of money, but this man is a staple in the Brentford career mode, he's everything Brentford stands for, so Real Madrid, you can get the bin lads, you're not going to get him for anywhere near that. So Braga have come in with a loan offer, a short term loan for Koulibaly, I'm going to straight up accept this, it's no option to buy, which is fine with me, hopefully he gets a bit of playing time over at Braga. Uh, because he's not going to be used too much for us the rest of the season. So that's another lad out on deadline day. So there we have it, guys. That rounds off transfer deadline day. Overall, I'm very happy. We managed to pick up Fabio Silva, who it seems is actually injured. So I don't know exactly what goes on with that, but we'll find out soon. So game number one of the episode, guys. Unfortunately, our deadline day signing, Fabio Silva, cannot be involved as he is actually injured, which I didn't know about when signing him, but it's only for this game. He should be back for the next one. But we've got Crystal Palace up next. 17th in the table. We need three points to keep the pressure on the title challenge. Liverpool just will not lose. They keep winning. We win. They win. We win. They win. It's the way it's going so far. And let's have a little look at the table before we get in this. Just come over here real quick. Let's have a look at the table. Our goal difference is ridiculous. We scored 97 goals already. Spurs are flying high. United are flying high. Newcastle are sat fifth, which is pretty crazy. City a bit off the pace this season. And the relegation zone is looking like a Nottingham Forest, Fulham and a Watford battle down there. It's quite close for that third spot to be fair, but oh, Nottingham Forest. The Nottingham Forest are in absolute no man's land. So let's do this in guys, strongest team as expected. Crystal Palace, first game of the episode, big three points, let's go. So Ivan Tony did of course score a hat-trick in the last game. Big win against Fulham, obviously relegation contenders Fulham. Because the Palace did a little bit better, but they're still not out of the relegation battle. We're at home to them. Let's see if we can keep the goal scoring up. Another 6 0 win would be nice. Derek Ray and Lee Dixon would love that, wouldn't you, chaps? Ivan Top. It's Ivan into one with a two. Go. How do you like them apples, then? What a goal from Silas. That is the way to start this episode, guys. Ah, oh, the man's having some fun today. A nice little Ronaldo chop into the rainbow. And that is a clinical finish. Take a bow, Silas. That is what we love to see. And a solid start to this game. Oh dear. 100% zoning out there. And Crystal Palace have pulled one back. That was pretty much all Wilfred Zaha. He started showing off a little bit on the left wing. Created a space and Jordan A, the Ghanaian Don puts. Oh, they've got Dries to hold up. Did I just see Dries Mertens there for Crystal Palace? I think I did. That's insane. What? Oh, great ball from Benrahma. Oh, great goal. Great team goal from the boys. And I believe that's Josh De Silva. Real Madrid wanted him for a reason, guys. Because he scores goals. Oh, no. Oh, super poor defending for me, guys. I changed the wrong play. I changed the Saliba. by bought him forward, and just like that, it's too old. Oh, 
Ooh, we take those. That was almost a quality goal from Silas when we could see that. I don't know how he kept the ball for so long. Look at that, the strength, the power, almost enough to finish it. Tough angle, but we take the rebounds when we can get them and we're back in the lead and happy days all around. Oh, Dries Mertens. Oh, Dries Mertens has done me, guys. It's free all. Dries Mertens has well and truly done me now. Didn't know which way he was going to go. Double heel to heel. He puts on a plate for Benteke. And it's game on. Super subs are coming on. Elise, Kalamundo and Blessing. Fingers crossed. We can get that winning goal. Brilliant read. Oh, deep breaths. Kalamundo, make a run. Make a run. Kalamundo, is he on side? Kalamundu, he's done it. I can't believe it. The super sub, the 19-year-old Frenchman, January Sino. 19 years of age, French January Sino for PSG. Kalamundu, the players are loving life. We've got lads flying in over the top and we've managed to come in clutch. If we do manage to win the title this season, we're going to look back at games like this and remember the big three points, the big performances. Silas of a great free ball. Kalamundu, one touch. Clinical finish into the bottom left. Beautiful scenes. Yes, there we go. Big 4-3 win in the first one. What a start to the episode. Deadline day signing Fabio Silva. And a huge win against Crystal Palace 4-3. All right then, guys. So we are back. West Brom away is our next fixture. It's a brand new day for me. It's about two days after I recorded the last clip you saw a second ago. I've had a few days off because work has been super busy. But we're back. Career mode grind is on. And West Brom away is our first opponent. Before we get into this game, I just want to give you a bit of news that is going to be very, very disappointing for me, probably quite funny for you guys, is that Fabio Silva is actually injured for five months. Like what even, how? How is this a thing? How am I able to buy these players without even knowing that they're already injured for five months? It wasn't like we got him and then he got injured. It's, we bought him injured. Is that a thing? I don't know. Let me know down below if that actually is a thing or if I'm just going absolutely crazy. But essentially what that means is that our deadline day signing is not playing for us majority of the rest of the season. Probably the whole rest of the season. So it's very much an investment for the future, but it's still a sick player to have on the team, ready and waiting in the wings to be used one day. All right, so West Brom away. What we say in team-wise, guys, five at the back, that's expected. Big Sam Allardyce, I'm assuming, is the manager in this one. I do remember that guy up top, Grant. He scored some absolute worldies against us last time. I'm pretty certain the last time we played these guys, it was a good 5-3 win to us. We're scoring goals at the moment. Crystal Palace, 4-3 last game. What are the odds? Another 4-3 thriller. Let's do this. Yes, now, Derek, Mr. Lee Dixon. We're back, boys. We are back. Norgaard's the new captain. I don't know when that happened. Did I change that, or...? I'm so out of date at the moment. Two days off career, my guys. I start to forget so many things, but it feels so good to be back recording this, and I cannot wait to smash out the consistent episodes for you. So West Brom has sat 15th or 16th for the moment, so this should be three points on the bag. We need to win these games if we're going to stand any chance of winning the title of the season. It's crazy saying that, but that actually is a possibility. We're three points of Liverpool at the moment, but all, all it takes is a couple of games slipping up. And then Liverpool are going to keep the momentum going and just break further ahead. The Champions League football next season is our goal. And that'll be amazing. I cannot wait for that. Oh, what a ball. Tony, Silas is in. Silas is in. Silas is in. And that is the goal we needed. 1-0 to the boys. Cool as you like. That link-up play. The boy, and they honestly need to check their goals to assist ratios, these guys at top, because they're playing each other in every single game. I honestly reckon Silas could be on for 50 goals this season. So I haven't got the pace here. That's getting more of my goal. So that little hold up plays beautiful. Josh De Silva and Buomo. Boys, what a team goal. Josh De Silva making that powerful KDDS run. And that is a finish on his weak foot. I just hit, I went for power. Absolute blinders are up, smashed it, little fakey. Josh De Silva, M. Buermo. Keeper probably could have done better, but there's so much power behind that shot. Absolutely rifles it. Keeper tries his best. Poor geezer puts it inside that in. And that's 2-0 to the boys. Oh, Norgard again with the interception. Tony into Silas. Silas. Really? Let's go, boys. 
Nor Guard is an absolute machine. Honestly, since this career mode series has started, he's been one of my favourite players. He's up there with the best. His interceptions, just the way he bullies that midfield is so much fun to use. And he starts that goal. Big interception. Tony again into Silas. And we're on road to 50. 3 0 up at half time. As expected, this one. We wanted a big win against West Brom. We're using our strongest team. So I'm going to rotate a little bit now. Silas is going to stay on purely for the fact that he can get another hat trick in there. So the silver is coming off. Kalamundu is coming off for Tony. And I think Smith Rowe is going to come on at right mid as well. Oh, Silas, why do you do this to me? It's the Silas skill show. We know how it is. The rainbow flick is li literally, you've got to put it to the side of the keeper. And my man skews it wide. Kalamundu's in the middle. Kalamundu's in the... <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on? Have we been putting some sort of like jinx at half time? We have... No words. No words. Olise. Interception King and Silas is in. This has hat trick written all over it. Silas Wamigatuka gets another Premier League hat trick. That might even be close to goal number 40, which is unreal. Number 13 for Brentford, my boy. The best career mode striker you can get, guys, honestly. Silas Wamigatuka, clinical, the five star skills are so much fun. And that is a bish bash bosh 4 0 finish. Dismantled. Oh. There we go. Second time's the charm. No, I felt like I was playing foot champs there for a second. West Bromwich Albion in the bin, you go, lads. And that's Silas's fourth of the game. So that is how we do things here at Brentford. 6 0 win against the Baggies. You love to see it. That is more like it. We're still not conceding two, three goals a game in this one which is beautiful and Silas gets four another match ball to add to his collection he's got about six rooms full of them now oh yes now so the big gun himself Ludovic Maurice is now available to be called up to the team am I gonna do it I think I feel like I'm gonna leave him until now to the end of the season and then I'm gonna look to bring in Maurice Sigurbjornsson and Magnussen all to the squad and then try and get them loaned out straight away just so they can boost that potential. So guys, I'm actually going to leave this episode here. Just two games in this one and the transfer deadline day because we got a big one up next. And I want to make it the centerpiece of the next episode it is Man United in the fifth round of the Emirates FA Cup. So I've been Morsi, guys. We're very close to 300 subs. By the time this video goes live, I may have hit it. Hopefully I have. That'd be crazy if I have. And thank you again for the continued support. I'll catch you very soon for episode 25. Take it easy, guys.